Hey guys, Scrub Lord here, and we are back for another episode of Scrub Souls. This is a video walkthrough of sorts. I'm not doing everything, um, but showing you how to beat Dark Souls 3 um, in easy mode, where you mostly um, boost your vitality and vigor and ignore most of the rest of the stuff. Although I've been putting some points into endurance lately. Um, for the most part, my strength and dexterity are just enough to use the weapons that I want, uh, weapons and shields that I want to use. Um, at this point, we are ready to kill the Old Demon King and Lord High Volnir in order to get to Irithyll. We've only died once in the entire walkthrough, uh, and that was to the stupid tree that's never killed me before. But we have not died since we uh, took our free levels from Yol of Londor. As you can see, we're level 50. Um, maybe a little over leveled, but not a lot. Um, we have put most of our points into vigor and vitality, as you can see. Uh, strength and dexterity for the Black Blade um, and some shields that we might want. And uh, we're going to go ahead and kill two bosses in this video, the, uh, the Old Demon King and Lord High Volnir. And hopefully this won't take a lot of editing, and hopefully my death cone counter won't go up much. And for some reason my PlayStation 4 is beeping at me. I don't know why. So this boss obviously is going to be heavy fire resistance, so we're going to go ahead and pop a red bug pellet. We've got a weapon that is not quite as nice as our Uchi plus 7, um, but it does do bleed damage, which is something that he's weak to. So let's go ahead and pop one of these. We've got a fire resistant shield, and our armor is decent against fire as well. This guy kind of give, gives me fits. Um, a lot of people consider him a not very hard boss. We just want to go ahead and try to block this. Oh, no, it's going to do that.
dodging the wrong way, apparently. And that time, too. try. It didn't seem like it. I'm down to one Estus flask and uh, not that much help. So we'll go ahead and save up here. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next area then. Okay, so here we are at the catacombs of Carthus Bonfire and um, we're going to go ahead and attack Lord High Volnir. Uh, we want as much damage output as we can come up with here, and we're just going to race past everything. We're not going to stop and fight. The ball took off the rats. Oh. Uh, that I did not want, but we should be fine anyway. We don't use a lot of Estus at Wolnir. This guy here, though. I'm gonna run past him. He's a pain in the butt. Another guy here. Hopefully, he'll just ignore us. There's a bunch of skeletons here that are not going to pay attention to us until we start crossing the bridge. <coughs> Go ahead and hit this bridge. There we go. And go up to the boss room. Now this boss, there's a lot of RNG or random number generator. This he can either be really easy or really hard. Um, mostly he's really easy, but if you get unlucky and you get caught in his dark magic attack, or he starts summoning skeletons, he can suddenly get very hard. So you know, if you're having a tough time with him, it, it might just be that you, you're randomly getting poor fights. Uh, there's no guarantee we're going to kill him here, um, but I do not consider him a particularly hard boss. A few tries will usually get you through. We want high damage output. He's going to have two bracelets on his left hand, our right and one bracelet on his right hand, our left, and we need to destroy those three bracelets. So it's a bit of a gimmicky fight. And he is not going to wake up until we start hitting the bracelets, so let's just go for it. There's one of them. Do not lock onto this boss. Oh, I thought I managed to avoid that. And watch out for that poison cloud. That's the most dangerous thing this boss can do. Go on, we're gonna go in and take him out. 
Genji involved in the fight. Um, we'll go ahead and skip straight back to the boss. That's our, you know, I almost feel good about that. It's our second death. I was all obsessed with the fact that we've only died once the entire playthrough. So now we've died a second time. I'll go ahead and save that and hopefully we won't die a third time. I think we got a little unlucky there. Okay, so the nice thing here is that when you die at Wolnir, your blood stain is going to be outside of the boss fight, and we're just going to head in. Again, we'll skip the cinematic this time. And unfortunately, he's alive this time. No. Try the right hand this time. Stay away from that blue smoke. Second death of the game, I can live with that. And we get a little cinematic here, and we get to go to the next area of the game. That's Irithil. And since we have killed the Deacons of the Deep now, we could go ahead and kill Wolnir because we have the doll that gets us across the bridge. And I think because this video is so short, it's just going to be the two boss battles. I'm going to go ahead and take on the bridge as well, because there's an enemy there that you might want to take a look at. Or have a, a strategy or plan for. This is simply open the door beyond the boss's area. Go ahead and save up here. Okay, so we're back at Wolnir's bonfire, and we're going to go ahead and head on to Irithil. Uh, now, some people say this is kind of where the real Dark Souls starts. Um, we've moved out of areas, you know, I mean, I think it's kind of ludicrous to think it's been all beginner's areas up to this point, um, but there's no doubt that the difficulty is about to ramp up on us. Um, so our two deaths now after dying to Wolnir is likely to go up. Um, and we're going to start out with a relatively tough enemy here, but I've got hopefully kind of a trick to kill him. This is the bridge, um, and it, the next boss in this area is called Pontiff Sullivan. 
Sullivan. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but he has, uh, there's three enemies in the game, one here, and then two together in another area, called Sullivan's Beasts, that are one of the toughest single enemies in the game. And someone probably just, you know, bring a doll. Anyways, it's going to kind of come in right behind us here, and we're going to want to be ready for it. There we go. He likes to do this little thing here, there. hoping for you know I almost I might just include the video of me attacking him on SL1 that would be soul level one I, I've played the game um, where I never leveled up my character at all and I actually managed to stagger him while he's doing the initial roar and uh, he never gets a chance to attack me I stagger him and take a right post and He's dead, and I'm only level 1, whereas this character here is level, I believe, 52 or so. 53. Um, as you can see, we're still doing our Scrub Souls thing. All vigor and vitality for the most part. And since we have the doll, we'll be able to pass through this wall here and get to the next bonfire. And we're going to go ahead and end the video there. Um, we might play the next area offline because this is a very heavy PvP area. And we don't want to be too distracted by people invading us. But uh, uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a like. And we'll go through um, this particular area, Irithyll, in the next video.